No cake projector or edible printer? No problem. Duplicating an image with buttercream is easy to do, and in this video we'll explore two methods, the piping gel transfer and the frozen buttercream transfer. If you're new to my channel and want to learn more about cake decorating, subscribe for more tips and tutorials. I'm using my Easy Buttercream icing for this tutorial and it is a medium thin consistency. A link to this icing video is in the description below. In addition to colored icing, I'll be using parchment paper and clear piping gel, which I'll be placing in a disposable decorating bag and cutting the end with scissors. So here's the image that I'll be using. Because I want the unicorn to be facing right, I have printed a mirrored copy to use when creating my transfers. If you're working with a symmetrical image, this won't matter as much. I'm going to start with a frozen buttercream transfer. All of my icing is colored, and you will notice that I'm not using any piping tips or nozzles for this technique. I'm simply cutting about a quarter of an inch from the end of the decorating bag. First, I place a sturdy cake board on my surface, followed by my mirrored image, and finally a piece of parchment paper. I start by outlining the unicorn in my darkest color. Then adding the darker outlines within the image. Next, I use each color and fill in the outlines. Finally, I use white to fill in the face. The final step is piping a layer of white icing over the entire shape. I use an angled spatula to smooth it. If there are areas that are too low, I build those up with white icing before smoothing again. Now it's time for the freezer. It'll stay in there for a couple of hours. Are you enjoying this video? If so, go ahead and give it a like right now. Next, I am going to work on my piping gel transfer. This is what piping gel looks like. It'll be a bit lumpy, so I'm gonna stir it up before I put it into my decorating bag. This gel can be easily colored with gel paste color if necessary. I'm going to cut about an eighth of an inch from the end of my decorating bag. I like to pipe a line to make sure it's not too thick or too thin. Next, I place a piece of parchment over my mirrored image and pipe over the outlines with the piping gel. Then I carefully lift the parchment and position the piped outline onto the top of my cake. With nice light pressure, I use my finger to gently press the gel onto my cake. Next, I gently unroll the parchment paper from my cake. can see the unicorn outline now appears. Next, I proceed with outlining and filling the image with buttercream icing. I use a combination of dimensional piping and stars to fill the unicorn. When it's complete, we're able to compare it to the original image. At this point, the buttercream transfer has had time to harden in the freezer. I start by cutting the excess parchment from the edges. Next, I invert the transfer and peel back the parchment to reveal the unicorn before placing it onto my cake. Now let's compare the frozen buttercream transfer to the original image. 
here is my piping gel transfer and my frozen buttercream transfer side by side. Let me know your favorite in the comments below. The frozen buttercream transfer technique is more of my style, so it's my favorite. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a like. And if you want to start your cake decorating journey and build your skills, subscribe to my channel for more helpful tips, tutorials, and product reviews. As always, thanks for watching.